Thanks for joining me on episode 579 of the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. I'm Winston Clements, motivational speaker and limitation breaker. I challenge you to invest yourself, invest in others, develop your influence and impact the world using your time, your talent and your treasures to live out your calling. Having the ability to recognize your limitations are an illusion and develop resilience is key. And one way to be inspired to do that is to listen to this Inspired Stewardship Scott podcast with my friend, Scott Mailer. It's hard whenever you're afraid. It's hard whenever you're frustrated to ask this question. And it's even harder to answer it. But that doesn't make it less important. That doesn't make it a question that you shouldn't ask. That doesn't make it something that you shouldn't spend some time and some energy trying to identify. In fact, it just proves that that's a valuable question to ask. Welcome and thank you for joining us on the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. If you truly desire to become the person who God wants you to be, then you must learn to use your time, your talent, and your treasures for your true calling. In the Inspired Stewardship Podcast, you will learn to invest in yourself, invest in others, and develop your influence so that you can impact the world. In this episode about investing in yourself through stewarding your talent, I talk with you about this powerful question, what opportunity does this create? The difference between taking an opportunity and taking advantage and why this question should be the first one you ask during challenging times. As we talk about stewarding your time, wouldn't it be great if you could support this podcast and do it without just taking too long? Turns out you can't. All you have to do is use inspiredstewardship.com slash Amazon when you're ready to make a purchase via Amazon, and a small commission will come back to support the show just that quick. If you enjoy the show when you are ready to buy from Amazon, just use inspiredstewardship.com slash Amazon. One of the things that happens to us when we face challenge, when, when things aren't going right, when there's problems in our life or something has de- derailed our plans and our opportunities. And right now, of course, we're Many of us are facing various challenges because of the pandemic that's going on right now. But the truth is, you could always be facing a time of challenge. You know, one of the things I've pointed out to people is whenever you you have a job loss, it really doesn't matter if tons of other people have lost their job or if it's just you. It's just as big of an emergency. Obviously, when lots of other people are without work as well, it affects how and your opportunities to get new work. But truly, it's just as big of a disaster when you've lost your job as when anyone else has or a lot of other people have. It it doesn't matter. It's, It's all very personal. So when we're facing a time of challenge, one of the questions that I always try to coach people to ask is, what opportunity does this create? To really stop in the middle of a challenge or a disaster or frustration or a fear and ask yourself, what opportunity does this create? To begin to write down or or process or journal or brainstorm lots of different opportunities that it creates. Because here's the truth. Anytime there is challenge, there is always opportunity. You've heard the expression, that necessity is the mother of invention. Or Albert Einstein is quoted as saying, in the middle of every difficulty lies opportunity. And that's really true, because out of opportunity becomes constraints, and out of constraints begins to create newness if you look for it. You know, if you've lost your job and you recognize that the truth is this wasn't a job I loved, then what can you do to create a new opportunity to move you in the direction of something that you really wanted to do in the first place? If if right now you're stuck at home and you're bored, what opportunities does that create to do something that you've been putting off and not focusing on and not getting done 
because you were too busy. If if you're working at home with your kids and that's creating some difficulties and challenges around how you get work done, what can you do? What opportunities does this create to spend some time or to bond with your kids in a way that you weren't able to do before? Maybe you'll discover a new talent or a new skill. Maybe you'll discover something that you can share with the world that you never even knew you had. It's out of these challenges and these constraints that opportunity often arises. Because the truth is, the opportunity was there all along. But often, whenever there's so much going on and so much coming into our world, we're blind to it. So this is a powerful question to ask to get you to refocus on what opportunities are out there. Now, I want to be clear. I'm talking here about opportunity, not taking advantage of people. See, one of the things that happens during a challenging time is you'll see people who are taking advantage of others. If you haven't noticed, right now the scammers are out in force. There's people already sending out stimulus checks, and yet that hasn't even been processed yet, and they're trying to get information from you about your bank account or your sources, or they're encouraging you to do something like enter into debt in a way that isn't healthy for you. There's people who are setting out and using this disaster as an opportunity to take advantage of others. And it's pretty simple. The The way to understand the difference between an opportunity and to an advantage is to look at the other person. If it is good for me and not good for the other person, then I'm taking advantage of them. But if it's good for me and good for the other person, then there's a very good chance that that is actually an opportunity. It, it's something that if I create this, it helps others and it also benefits me. That's great. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing harmful about that. You should be paid for your work. You should be paid for the value you create in the world. You should be paid for the benefit that your work does for others. There's nothing wrong with that. That is not evil. That's not wrong. You're not taking advantage of anyone. But again, run it through that filter. If it gives you a financial benefit or it gives you some other benefit in your world, but it does that by disadvantaging and harming others, then all you're doing is taking advantage of them. It's, it's why there are activities that I see in the world that take advantage of poor people, take advantage of ignorant people, take advantage of the older people, take advantage of younger people, take advantage of all sorts of groups that are ostracized and pushed to the edges. And if you're doing that, that is wrong and you should stop. This question is the first one I always turn to with clients and I try really hard to turn to with myself whenever something goes wrong, whenever there's a challenging time. But I'll be honest, it's hard whenever you're afraid. It's hard whenever you're frustrated to ask this question. And it's even harder to answer it. But that doesn't make it less important. That doesn't make it a question that you shouldn't ask. That doesn't make it something that you shouldn't spend some time and some energy trying to identify. In fact, it just proves that that's a valuable question to ask. But it's hard. This is one of the reasons that working with other people, surrounding yourself with wise counsel, whether that's working with a coach, whether that's working with a counselor, whether that's just sitting down with a friend. But if you're facing a challenge right now and a difficulty, reach out to others, reach out to me, reach out to someone else and sit down with them and answer that question to yourself. What opportunities does this create? What are the things that I'm now have open for me that weren't open before? Because I guarantee you, there's always something. There's always an opportunity that shows up whenever challenges and difficulties show up. Thanks for listening. Thanks so much for listening to the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. As a subscriber and listener, we challenge you to not just sit back and passively listen, but act on what you've heard. 
and find a way to live your calling. If you like this episode on the stewardship of talent, you can go over to inspiredstewardship.com slash talent and sign up for our five-week series on the stewardship of talent. Or if you're in the U.S., you can text 44222 talent tips that's talent tips to 44222 and get those tips until next time invest your time your talent and your treasures develop your influence and impact the world <laughs>